right, we're at a Cube Smart facility. Got to pick up a unit, a little tiny unit, a little closet size unit. All right, another day, another storage unit to um, load up. It's a nice, hot, sunny day right here in the middle of August. And I've kind of got an unusual, at least for me, unit here to get. What happened is a couple days ago, I started bidding on some units and I had won a unit at a location right close to here. And so I bid on this unit, which is a little five by five unit with hardly anything in it. I normally don't bid on these little small units with not a lot in them because you just don't get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, but I was like, okay, I just, you know, gonna throw some, gonna put a bid on it just because I was already coming to this area and maybe win a couple of other small ones. Other one I won ended up canceling. The customer, after I had won it, the customer paid up. Tried bidding on some more and a couple of them just went too high and then a couple of them or one of them that I'd won, it canceled again also that was at a loca location close by. So it was just one of those weeks where, you know, everybody was paying up, but they were paying up at the last minute or literally after the last minute after I'd already won it, but you know, they can pay all the way up until you actually show up to clean it up. So this one here, like I said, it's uncharacteristic, but we're gonna look at it and see, maybe I'll find something good. All right, it's this is a five by five unit I paid $130 for, so, Way more than I should have paid for it. Took a little gamble because there is a box down on the floor. There's a couple of tools sitting around. There's a box on the floor and on the top I could make it, it said, had a person's name and then it said baseball. I couldn't read the rest, maybe card, I don't know, collection. So hoping maybe some baseball cards, whatever. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe there's a game worn autographed glove of Babe Ruth. Maybe there's a, you know autographed baseball bat from Hank Aaron. Maybe there's a game-worn uniform from Hank Aaron. That would be awesome, but probably not. But we're going to look and see. You never know. Um, so we'll see if this thing's going to pay off. 130 bucks. When the door opens, you're going to see there ain't a whole lot in there. But um, like I said, it was just kind of a weird situation. Normally wouldn't have gotten this one at all. But here I am. All right, as you can see, little five by five closet. Hardly nothing in this thing at all. I don't, I mean, honestly, I'm looking at it, it's like, I can't believe that I paid $130 for this thing and drove all the way over here. But, nice little jacket here. Maybe it's leather. It's got a built-in hood. Um, let's see. Fabric, P, lining 100% polyester. Yeah, I don't think it's um, I don't think it's actual leather. Kind of, I don't know. It kind of feels like it is, but I don't know where a tag would be uh, be for it. Normally, it's like inside there or in the pocket. I don't know. Anyways, decent little coat. Here's a work coat. Here's another. If you look behind here, another at least leather looking. I'm pretty sure this is leather. Leather looking jacket. What is 100% PU? I don't know. But then the, the lining is polyester. Polyester. Oh polyurethane polyurethane that's what it is yeah definitely <laughs> they're not real not real leather okay and then there's like a little racing jacket kind of deal back there yeah this racing jacket's actually pretty nice right here it's one of the ones that you know has the the pads in the arms and everything so that might be worth a few bucks um we got a little giant step ladder some post hole diggers a push broom a backpack an Ozark trail hiking backpack some screws on the floor we got a set of jack stands 
and is this a ramp or yeah trifold ramp and then a platform pro platform you know like for um, make like a little scaffolding we got a little license plate there all right we got a helmet motorcycle helmet atomic girl clap your hands say yeah babe on board so i don't know if this was a girl's bike or what all right if we come over here we got a cobalt organizer okay so that's where that goes all these got to go back inside there and then they'll go in here so it's a decent little thing we got a tamp but no um no pole for it radio that they took out okay here's the box we're gonna look at here robert's baseball card collection rts box i don't know if that maybe that's probably his initials or just stands for robert's definitely baseball cards if my buddy Keith you know normally Keith he comes and helps me load a lot of these units he's off today um, if you'd have been here he would have loved this unit he loves baseball cards he's always hoping we're gonna find some just to look at but Keith look whole box full of them you missed them but I know you'll be bidding on them bidding on them in our auction Here's a Don Russ 91 sealed case. Here's a Tops. This one's not sealed up, but okay, it is full of the wax packs that are all filled up. 1988. Here's another Don Russ. Not sealed up, but looks like all the packs are there that doesn't go with that but that's 1990 here's another Donruss 1991 what do we got here 1995 upper deck that's not it's different years here bags ripping community so that's upper deck right there Bobby Bonilla still getting paid Bobby Bobby Bonilla still gets paid by the New York Mets every year I forget how much it is but it's at least a million dollars it's Bobby Bonilla day smart guy that was a good contract I forgot how long how much longer he gets paid but he still he hadn't played baseball in years and years but he still gets paid every year okay so we got a little little bit older card 19 what is this 1982 and these are all full of these are just mixed cards i don't really know why they're in these little bags but like that's a 1982 tops in there he's going to just organize 1989 leaf if that says that and that is 1989 leaf right there but then that's not all that's in there those are tops cards behind it Dave Henderson these are all pretty common <laughs> from the looks of it like years nothing too great there's a Steve Avery card brave Steve Avery a lot of 80s early 90s it looks like a lot of baseball cards were sold during that time. 94. So unfortunately it makes a lot of them not worth a whole lot. It's got one tiny little bag of 1986 tops. Alright, then we got here's some more. This is in a Ziploc bag. Almost feels like they've been opened. Some tops cards there. We've got another Don Russ. Uh, da, da, da. 
they're all still sealed up. Yeah. 1988 Don Russ. Del Murphy autograph card potentially in there. Here's a sealed up 1990 Tops complete set. It's got the Ken Griffey rookie right there in it. All right. 1992 score case pack. Then we got 1991 score. And these are all sealed up, never been opened. 1990 score. 1991 Fleer. Let's see. Yep, they're all in there. And these are like the kind that you would that they would have on the shelf that you would just buy the individual pack. Normally is how those would get bought. Versus this is sold like this, because if you open that up, they're just individual cards in there. And then we have a 1991 Tops complete set. Alright, and then we got one more box in this tin. Let's see what they've hidden in this tin potentially. And we've got oh wow. A 1922 Liberty Dollar. And I just dropped that down. 1922 Liberty Dollar. So that is silver. And then this dime, I think it's a dime. Hold on. I just dropped. What year is this? That's not a dime. I don't know. It is a. Eighteen sixty-eight dime, I believe. Eighteen sixty. I can't. It's kind of hard to make up, but I believe it's eighteen sixty-eight. And then we've got more cards in here. Lots of the same ones that are in these, but they're individual little wax packs, like these right here, wax packs and stuff. Early nineties, late eighties stuff. And then you got these little things right here. I remember when I was a kid buying several of these little packs right here hoping I was gonna find something good of course never did in those things right there what we got here this is a Annabelle Sanchez okay this is one of those things it's got like a patch of his uniform on it Annabelle Sanchez picture but lots of wax packs so overall let's see this is, we got $20, so 20, I'm just going to be like conservative with my prices, 20 plus 5, that's 25, plus another 5 on the postal, that's 30, let's say 10 on the backpack, that's 40, um, the ramp here, I think it's just one ramp, so let's say 20 bucks, that's 60, um, let's say 25 on the platform. That's 85. Um, these right here, let's say 20 bucks for the pair. That's 105. Ten dollars on the cobalt thing. That's 115. And I'm not even going to count the. Let's just pay, let's say five bucks on that. That's 120. And then if we go to the coins here without looking you know just silver value alone this is probably about I don't know 30 to 40 bucks so let's say 30 bucks on the coin it could be worth more than that I'm not sure without looking this up so <clears throat> it's 30 bucks it's 150 not sure on this one either. let's say five bucks 155 and then let's just be conservative on here let's say ten dollars let's say 165 175 185 195 205, 215, 
225, 235, 245, 255, and 265, 275, and then another, let's say 25 bucks on the rest of the cards laying around. So that would be $300. So, like I said, just being conservative right here, there's $300 plus worth of stuff. So it didn't turn out too bad at all. Normally, I say you know doubling your money is not gonna is not really gonna make your money. You're going to your costs are gonna eat you up. But that's normally when you have trucks, trailers, when you've got help and you got a lot of time invested. With a little small one like this, just taking a few minutes. Um, I mean, do I do have ten bucks of, of gas driving here and back, and then my time, which isn't gonna be a whole lot of time besides drive time. So at one hundred and thirty dollars buying it and you know $300 potentially more I'm just being conservative um, on the prices there it might end up being you know somewhere between 300 and 350 dollars not a bad deal at all so the baseball card thing it wasn't nothing spectacular but there was a lot of a lot of cards packed into that little box so it wasn't like it was like super old cards or super rare or anything these are real common but these sets they will they'll still sell it's better than just being a box it could have been a box of old clothes or dishes or just complete garbage so it'd been nice if there have been a few more things in here see i didn't even add the jackets in there either when i was doing the pricing because that's you know these are at least five dollars a piece so this jacket right here this one those right there that are fake leather not going to sell for a whole lot but they still do look nice this is a nice work jacket right here um should be at least 10 bucks for that so somewhere between three and 350 maybe more like between three and 400 somewhere in that range off of this little unit there because the stuff that's in here it's all good sellable stuff and that box turned out right so doesn't always have to be a big one um it helps when it's a big one because there's more stuff to add up but i took a little bit of a gamble on that box it'd have been nice if i could have gotten another unit here out of all these units, it'd have been nice if one of these other ones I could have gotten to load up, but didn't turn out that way. You gotta, um, you gotta do what you can from week to week, and you never know what you're gonna end up with, and how big and how little the units you're gonna end up with. Ended up buying a few pallets this week also to make up for it, but I'll be back out there again um, next week buying more. Definitely, there's always, always units popping up, always opportunity. But if you like this video. Leave a comment, ask me a question, maybe give me some info on some of the stuff that I found right here. Um, hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, then subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff because we're going to be putting out way more videos as we always do and you never know what we're going to find. So that's what we got. That's it for today. Everybody have a good one. I'm going to show you something funny here. I think this is the only storage unit that I've ever bought that the whole entire unit fit into one buggy. I was able to just unload it all into this one buggy. Every single thing that was in there. Pretty easy right there.